Chapter 9 And Abimelech the son of Irabel went to Shechem, and to his mother's brethren, and communed with them, and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Speak, I pray you, in the ears of all the men of Shechem, whether is better for you, either that all the sons of Irabel, which are threescore and ten persons, reign over you, or that one reign over you, remember also that I am your bone and your flesh. And his mother's brethren spake of him in the ears of all the men of Shechem, all these words, and their hearts inclined to follow Abimelech, for they said, He is our brother. And they got him threescore and ten pieces of silure out of the house of Baal-Bareth, wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons, which followed him. And he went into his father's house at Ophrah, and slew his brethren the sons of Irabel, being threescore and ten persons, upon one stone, notwithstanding, yet Iatham the youngest son of Irabel was left, for he hid himself. And all the men of Shechem gathered together, and all the house of Milo, and went, and made Abimelech king, by the plain of the pillar that was in Shechem. And when they told it to Yathim, he went and stood in the top of Mount Gerizim, and lift Vipi his voice, and cried, and said Vento them, Hearken Vento me, you men of Shechem, that God may hearken Vento you. The trees went forth on a time to anoint a king o'er them, and they said Vento the Olu tree, reign the o'er verses. But the Olu tree said Vento them, should I low my fatness, wherewith by me they honor God and man, and go to be promoted o'er the trees. And the trees said to the fig tree, come thou and reign o'er verses. But the fig tree said Vento them, should I forsake my sweetness and my good fruit, and go to be promoted o'er the trees. Then said the trees Vento the Yuine, come thou and reign o'er verses. And the Yuine said Vento them, should I low my wine, which cheereth God and man, and go to be promoted o'er the trees. Then said all the trees Vento the Bramble, come thou and reign o'er verses. And the bramble said Vento the trees, If in truth ye anoint me king o'er you, then come, and put your trust in my shadow, and if not, let fire come out of the bramble, and do sure the cedars of Lebanon. Now therefore, if ye how done truly and sincerely, in that ye how made Abimelech king, and if ye how dealt well with Arable and his house, and how done Vento him according to the deserving of his hands, for my father fought for you, and had do insured his life far, and delured you out of the hand of Midian. And ye are risen VP against my father's house this day, and how slain his sons threescore or ten persons upon one stone. And how made Abimelech the son of his maidservant, King Al or the men of Shechem, because he is your brother. If ye then how dealt truly and sincerely with Arabel and with his house this day, then reus ye in Abimelech, ought let him also reus in you. But if not, let fire come out from Abimelech, and do sure the men of Shechem and the house of Milo, and let fire come out from the men of Shechem, and from the house of Milo, and do war Abimele. And Atham ran away, and fled and went to Beer, and dwelt there for fear of Abimelech his brother. When Abimelech had reigned three years o'er Israel, then God sent an yule spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech, that the cruelty done to the threescore and ten sons of Irabel might come, and their blood be laid upon Abimelech their brother which slew them, and fawn the men of Shechem which aided him in the killing of his brethren. And the men of Shechem set liars in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them. And it was told Abimelech. And Gal the son of Eb came with his brethren, and went o'er to Shechem. And the men of Shechem put their confidence in him. And they went out into the fields, and gathered their vineyards, and trod the grapes, and made merry, and went into the house of their god, and did eat and drink, and cursed Abimelech. And Gal the son of Eb said, Who is Abimelech, and who is Shechem, that we should serve him? Is not he the son of Irabel, and Zebel his officer? Serve the men of Hammer, the father of Shechem, for why should we serve him? And would to God this people were vendor my hand, 
then would I remo Abimelech. And he said to Abimelech, Increase thine army and come out. And when Zebul the ruler of the city heard the words of Gaul the son of Ebd, his anger was kindled. And he sent messengers unto Abimelech priorly, saying, Behold, Gaul the son of Ebd and his brethren be come to Shechem. And behold, they fortify the city against thee. Now therefore, VP by night, thou and the people that is with thee, and lie in wait in the field. And it shall, that in the morning as soon as the sun is VP, thou shalt rise early, and set upon the city. And behold, when he and the people that is with him come out against thee, and mayest thou do to them as thou shalt find occasion. And Abimelech rose VP, and all the people that were with him, by night, and they laid wait against Shechem in four companies. And Gaul the son of Ebd went out, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city. And Abimelech rose VP, and the people that were with him, from lying in wait. And when Gaul saw the people, he said to Zebul, Behold, there come people down for the top of the mountains. And Zebul said unto him, Thou seest the shadow of the mountains, as if they were men. And Gaul spake again, and said, See, there come people down by the middle of the land, and another company come along by the plain of Mianinum. Then said Zebulvan to him, Where is now thy mouth, wherewith thou saidst, Who is Abimelech, that we should serve him? Is not this the people that thou hast despised? Go out, I pray now, and fight with them. And Gaul went out before the men of Shechem, and fought with Abimelech. And Abimelech chased him, and he fled before him, and many were our thrown and wounded, you invento the entering of the gate. And Abimelech dwelt at Aruma, and Zebul thrust out Gaul and his brethren, that they should not dwell in Shechem. And it came to pass on the morrow, that the people went out into the field, and they told Abimelech. And he took the people, and divided them into three companies, and laid wait in the field, and looked, and behold, the people were come forth out of the city, and he rose VP against them and smote them, and Abimelech, and the company that was with him, rushed forward, and stood in the entering of the gate of the city, and the two other companies ran upon all the people that were in the fields, and slew them, and Abimelech fought against the city all that day, and he took the city, and slew the people that was therein, and beat down the city, and sowed it with salt. And when all the men of the tower of Shechem heard that, they entered into an hold of the house of the god Bareth. And it was told Abimelech that all the men of the tower of Shechem were gathered together. And Abimelech gave him VP to Mount Salmon, he and all the people that were with him, and Abimelech took an axe in his hand, and cut down a bough from the trees, and took it, and laid it on his shoulder, and said then to the people that were with him. What ye how seen me do, make haste, and do as I how done. And all the people likewise cut down Uri man his bow, and followed Abimelech, and put them to the hold, and set the hold on fire upon them, so that all the men of the tour of Shechem died also, about a thousand men and women. Then went Abimelech to Thebes, and encamped against the Bez, and took it. But there was a strong tour within the city. And thither fled all the men and women, and all they of the city, and shut it to them, and gave them VP to the top of the tor. And Abimelech came vinto the tor, and fought against it, and went hard vinto the dory of the tor, to burn it with fire. And a certain woman cast a piece of a millstone upon Abimelech's head, and all to break his skull. Then he called hastily vinto the young man his armor bearer, and said vinto him, Draw thy sword, and slay me that men say not of me. A woman slew him, and his young man thrust him through, and he died. And when the men of Israel saw that Abimelech was dead, they departed Uri man vinto his place. This God rondered the wickedness of Abimelech, which he did vento his father, in slaying his suing brethren. And all the Yule of the men of Shechem, did God render fawn their heads, and fawn them came the curse of Iathem the son of Irabel. Chapter 10 And after Abimelech, there rose to defend Israel, Tola the son of Pua, the son of Dodo, a man of Isaacer, and he dwelt in Shemir in Mount Ephraim. 
and he judged Israel twenty and three years, and died, and was buried in Shemir. And after him rose Iar a Galidite, and judged Israel twenty and two years. And he had thirty sons that rode on thirty as colts, and they had thirty cities, which are called Hoth Iarv until this day, which are in the land of Galid. And Iar died, and was buried in Cayman. And the children of Israel did you again in the sight of the Lord, and Sirud Balaam and Ashtaroth, and the gods of Syria, and the gods of Sidon, and the gods of Moab, and the gods of the children of Ammon, and the gods of the Philistines, and forsook the Lord, and Sirud not him. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hands of the Philistines, and into the hands of the children of Ammon. And that year they vexed and oppressed the children of Israel eighteen years. All the children of Israel that were on the other side Jordan, in the land of the Amorites, which is in Gilead. Moreover, the children of Ammon passed over Iredon to fight also against Judah, and against Benjamin, and against the house of Ephraim, so that Israel was sore distressed. And the children of Israel cried, Ven to the Lord, saying, We have sinned against thee both, because we have forsaken our God, and also Sirud Balim. And the Lord said, Ven to the children of Israel, Did not I delure you from the Egyptians, and from the Amorites, from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines? The Sidonians also, and the Amalekites, and the Maonites did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. Yet ye have forsaken me, and seared other gods, wherefore I will delure you no more. Go, and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen, let them delure you in the time of your tribulation. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou vento verses whatsoever seemeth good vento thee, to lure verses onely, we pray thee, this day. And they put away the strange gods from among them, and seared the Lord, and his soul was grewed for the misery of Israel. Then the children of Ammon were gathered together, and encamped in Gilead. And the children of Israel assembled themselves together, and encamped in Mizpah. And the people and princes of Gilead said one to another, what man is he that will begin to fight against the children of Ammon? He shall behead, or all the inhabitants of Gilead.